I first met Mark Ross on the streets of New York in 1969. He was a folk music revival. They called him Woody in those days for obvious reasons. And uh, it was the old um, Gaslight. First place they ever got paid. It was phenomenal, paid for doing anything. Mark Ross was probably the best tramp I ever met. He lives on air. Luftmensch, we call it in Yiddish. Lives on air. Um, lives in Eugene, Oregon. Moved there from Butte because he heard there wasn't any work in Eugene. And Mark is a great musician. He's also, as a teenager, when he was having a hard time at home in New York City, his parents sent him to Israel to a kibbutz and they threw him out because he slept through an attack. And at least that's the story they told him. Anyway, here's my old friend Mark Ross. Like Utah said, we've known each other for, what is it, be 34 years next month. We have traveled together over the years. I remember one trip from Spokane down to Boise. Utah rented a car and was driving down there. I didn't have a license. I just got my first license at 54. <laughs> and uh, Utah was driving. We got stopped by a uh, rookie highway patrolman. Well, the young, young policeman said, can I see your license? Utah said, don't have it. Got, uh, got, just, got taken away from me after my last drunk driving conviction. <laughs> can I see the registration? Oh, it's not my car, said Utah. I killed the guy whose car it was, and I got him in the trunk. Probationary, this probationary highway patrolman was a bit mi perturbed about this, and he called in for backup, told the story over the radio. And his sergeant showed up, came up to the side of the car, told, you know, he, he told, they told us to stay in the car, and the, when the sergeant showed up, he walked over to the side of the car and said, can I see your license? And Utah said, sure, and pulled his wallet out and handed him a license. Well, can I see your registration, asked the sergeant. Utah said, Utah said, sure, here, it's a rental car, you know. And the sergeant perplexedly looked at the paperwork and said, well, this young patrolman here, he said, you told them that you didn't have a license because it had been taken away for drunk driving and that you'd killed the owner of the car and you had his body in the trunk. And Utah said, well, I suppose he told you I was speeding, too. <laughs> This nine pound hammer, just a little too heavy for my size, but for my size. Roll on, buddy, don't you roll so slow. How can I roll when my wheels won't go? This nine pound hammer, it rings like silver, it shines like gold, it shines like gold. Roll on, buddy, all load of coal. How can I roll? When my wheels won't go, this nine pound hammer weighs a little too heavy for my size, but for my size. Roll on, buddy, don't you roll so slow. How can I roll when my wheels won't go? Number nine coal, at number nine coal. Roll on, buddy, haul load of coal. How can I roll when the wheels won't go? This nine pound hammer, it killed John Henry. It won't kill me, but it won't kill me. Roll on, buddy, haul load of coal. How can I roll when my wheels won't go? It's a long way to Harlem. It's a long way to hazard, just to get a little brew, just to get a little booze. Roll on, buddy, don't you roll so 
slow I can I roll When we won't go One more It's a long way to heart It's a long way to hazard Just to get a little proof Just to get a little booze Roll on, buddy, hard go to call. How can I roll when we won't go? I'm going on a mountain, just see my baby. Never coming back, never coming back. Roll on, buddy, don't you roll so slow. How can I roll when we won't go? This nine pound hammer, just a little too heavy for my size. But it fall my size Roll on, buddy, hard Load of coal How can I roll when my wheels won't go? How can I roll when wheels won't go? Oh, thank you. God, it's a pleasure to be back here in Nirvana Silly.